Okay, so do y'all want to start with, let's just start a little with how our lives have changed and then I'll probably lead into some things we want to mention. So who wants to go first? I'll go. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, coaching has had a lot of unexpected benefits for me that I really had no idea was out there. I was hoping, I wanted to, I wanted a discount. I was hoping to get income, all of those things that you kind of think about immediately. But really, it's been the other things that have meant the most to me and the most to my life and the most to my family. Um, I feel like coaching has put me more together. And it's weird because you're putting something else on your plate, but the way that our, that my day goes now is just a lot more organized. Everything flows the way it's supposed to. Most days, I mean, within the realm of that normal crazy that I live in. Um, I feel like I have more purpose in my day. I love being a stay at home mom and there's already a huge purpose in that, but I feel like I have another purpose now that I, that, um, I get to reach out to other people and still do it from home and still be number one mom at home, but just have a greater purpose than just being at home. Um, and I'm just happier. I mean, like, I, I just feel happier. I, I think it's the support of the team. I think it's that I love what I do. I think it's that I get to talk to people and connect. And it's just, it's been a huge blessing. I can go next. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm kind of the same. I started out for the discount um, and that lasted a couple of months until I completed my first program, like I said earlier. And then I just, I noticed a big change in myself, like Stacy said. I, I noticed I was happier, um, just not even the coaching side yet, just from, from the physical and mental transformation I had gone through um, while participating in a supportive online group and that's something I never expected um I first said I wasn't going to follow the nutrition plan because I just wanted to get physically active but once I got the package in the mail and saw the whole package together I was like wow this is amazing like they do everything for you there's a calendar and there's tells you exactly what workouts to do and exactly what you can eat and how much to eat and I was just blown away by that like it just took all of the confusion out for me and when I realized if you could just stick to that plan, what could happen as far as physical, mental, all areas of your life, I couldn't help but share it. Um, and people started noticing a big change in me and asking about that change. And so that's when I realized, hey, I could help other people and this could be um, something that, like Stacy said, gives me something to do besides be a stay-at-home mom. Gives me inter daily interaction with other women, um, when I had small kids at home and I just didn't get out much and then it just blossomed into over a period of time realizing what real business potential this this job had and so like Stacy it's just I'm just a happier more organized more fulfilled life pouring into other people and showing them how they can do that too that's all for me I think Okay. Are you going to go, Sabrina? Sure. Go ahead. I'll go. I mean, you guys, I, I overshare everything. Um, apparently, it's an issue. Um, but I was just in a really bad spot, you know, and like wasn't happy with anything going on in my life. And um, I started exercising and feeling stronger and I was a discount coach too and everything for me started to shift right my whole mindset my perspective um, I mean I'm not a stay-at-home mom I am a mom but um, I have a nine-to-five job so I wasn't dependent on it for income or anything but the discount was nice um, and stuff and I had a lot of reservations but mostly because like I was terrified I was so scared to like put my whole self out there and um, because I'm a guarded kind of person it, I mean you wouldn't think that as much as I share but I am um, and so I like people to see the parts of me that I want them to see you know 
the edited versions. And, um, you know, Schley kind of just said, you know, you're already doing all the stuff, you know, why not make someone feel the way you feel? Um, and I, that just really resonated with me. And I thought, what a cool thing if I could share this, because I truly think it's been a gift in my life and not just mine. My whole family has benefited from this, from a happier me, from a happier them. We all exercise together and we meal prep together. It's really a lifestyle that we can do together, you know, at different stages or whatever, but we all do it together. And why not share that with other people? So, you know, I mean, money aside, which is nice, but you know, that for me, just sharing that and hoping that somebody else would be touched and motivated by that, you know, to make changes in their lives. That's why I do it. Um, I just think what an amazing thing to share with other people. So that's why I coach. Okay, I'll go. Can you guys hear me? No. Okay. I went and put a shirt on because um, I felt uncomfortable and I got my shirt on from Sabrina. It says, breathe in, zen out. <laughs> and so, you know, I, hold on. Um, you know, one of the biggest things for me is just, well, okay, the money. I mean, for me, I was a stay at home mom with a ton of student loan debt, um, which I was sharing with the ladies in Cabo, like, I mean, ridiculous amount of student loan debt for two law degrees. So the money was a big factor in it. Um, but also I, I'm an introvert by nature. So getting to, or having to talk, you know, being forced to talk to people, um, you know, make friends. It was a good thing for me. You know, I've obviously reconnected with Sabrina, um, which has just been such a huge blessing. And I've gotten to know all of you ladies, which has been great. And um, I reconnected with like hundreds of people on Facebook um from my past and that's something I, I mean i would have never done without this opportunity um so money friendships and then um honestly i don't think i think if i weren't coaching i would have gained <laughs> some of the weight i lost back um i think without this extra accountability i may have had a few a few more lapses than i've had so and i have had challengers who have had that happen where they've been solid for six months and then they, you know, something in their life happens and they get stressed out. And next thing they know, they've gained 20 pounds back. So um, for me, I think it's kept me accountable and consistent with my eating and workouts. And I haven't gone back to the old me because, um, you know, I can't. So that's mine. Um, mine, like y'all said, it's, it's hard to put it all into words, but um I feel like it's given me for the first time, like a job that I want to do. Um, I'm CPA. And so I worked, you know, from college on until we had kids and, um, and then a little bit after kids. And I, it was always like, anytime we had to fill out our goals for the year, I was always felt so fake. Cause I was like, I really don't care. Like, and it's bad, but like, I didn't care. All I wanted was to just work enough so that I can then have kids and stay home with them. That's all I wanted to do. And I felt like I needed to work because I had a master's degree, but it wasn't where my heart was. And, um, and then, you know, I worked after we had our second child and, um, that's when I started coaching a couple, he was about, let's see, I guess he was four. No, I don't know. He was two maybe. Yeah. And, um, so it just, for the first time I felt like, oh my gosh, this is what a job can be like that you have a passion for and that you want to do. Um, and that just feels so different. And I could spend so much time working on coaching if I wanted to, just because I love it. And, um, and that's weird because, you know, in a regular job, I'd be counting down the minutes. So I got to leave and with coaching, like, like I could spend, you know, I could fill the time all the time that I have, but I don't have to, which is nice. Um, but also more than that, it's also just given me like this, I feel like it's just made me, me, it's given me a voice. It's given me, um, like Stacy said, like organization to my day. It's just like made me 
a better person. It's made me want to share the gifts that I think God's given me, um, given me a platform to share them. I think before, like I wanted to do things, but I felt like, who am I to help this person or offer advice? But now since it's my job, I feel like I get to do that. And it's just given me a platform for that. And that is a really big blessing in my life. And it, you know, I was able to build it to enough where I was able to leave my job. And that is huge because, um, we do need some extra, you know, income besides my husband's. And this has been, um, way more fun than taxes. And I'm so glad that I get to do this instead. So that's how things have changed for me. So, um, in case anybody's just jumping on, I think we had somebody on a minute ago, but we talked about how our lives have changed since coaching. And so we were going to talk about a few other things, maybe reservations that people have or, um, things like that. So, um, one of the things that we know people might have thought about is um, what if you only have a few hundred friends on Facebook and you're just not really active with posting things like that. Um, how can coaching work for you? Do, does anybody want to put in their two cents on that? I mean, I can talk about it. I only had, I had like less than 200 friends. And my Facebook, I only got Facebook like at the end of 2013. Like I was super late to the party and um, super selective about who my friends were and, you know, just really didn't pay a lot of attention. And it was overloaded with political garbage. Like that's one of the things that I have noticed most is the positivity of this program has taught, I mean, it's infected every single thing for the better. Um, but Facebook for me was like a place to just air all my grievances. Right. And it was just poisonous. Um, and so in working this, um, it was really like in October when Corey sent out the, the calendar, the coaches challenge calendar or the coach Tober. Um, and I really made an effort to limit what I was saying to only those things that actually mattered to me, right? And so I didn't have to post a bunch of times and it, you know, it wasn't like, here's me drinking my Shakeology, you know? I mean, it wasn't anything canned. It was just a genuine, one genuine post about my life. And because my life was so much impacted by Beachbody and, you know, the workouts and the nutrition and my family making these positive changes, it was super easy to capture those moments that mattered. So, you know, doing that and then um, I actually trolled my husband's Facebook because he made friends with like 900 people and I, I didn't even know how that was possible. Um, and so like I would scroll through and I'm like, oh, I wonder how she's doing or whatever. Right. And so you click on that person and then they're friends with like two people you used to go to college with. And it's like, oh, I know her and I her. Um, and so, you know, you just kind of build it from there. And it actually became like really awesome to reconnect with all these people through Facebook, you know, and it just it totally not only expanded my friends but it weeded out all the garbage and allowed me to focus on the things that actually matter. And, you know, so slowly, but surely it does happen. I just had to be really consistent about doing it. Um, it but I mean, it really kind of came, became fun. And then Facebook wasn't like a scary place for me anymore um, where I had to like block people and, you know, stuff like that. And now I can actually make my posts public um, because it's all just, I mean, they tease me, but it's like peace, love, and light. Like, that's it. If anybody wants to put garbage up there, it's gone immediately because I only want it to be things that matter. That's it. Yeah, I know for me, I didn't have... I wasn't really friends with a lot of people. Like I kind of would say, well, if I don't talk to them regularly, why would I want to be friends with them on Facebook? And that, I remember thinking that, and that's so silly, but like coaching has, um, 
just like I think Ashley was saying, you know, giving me the opportunity to reconnect with a bunch of people that I probably would have never, ever talked to again. And whether or not they end up, you know, being customers or not, it's, it's enriched my life just, you know, reconnecting with people. And it's just, you know, life is better done with people and in community. And this has given me the, a reason to have a community and to reach out to people. And um, I mean, a lot of people have, you know, said that it was, a good thing that I reached out to them, you know, just to say, hi, it means a lot to people. Um, you know, whether or not they become customers or not, that's not the point. It's just, and that's what I like about coaching is it's so much more about relationships and not just, you know, cold invites to people. Cause that's just not what we're about. So that's kind of how it affected me. Were you gonna say something, Jesse? Yeah. I was going to say two quick things about your network. Um, I've said this to my husband before and I thought he was going to think I was crazy, but he did not. He completely agreed with me. I thought of it like this about like not only um, our coaching friends and community and how like strong the friendships are with on our team um, with some of the people that we've never met or have only met once, you know, but also with um, people that you connect with, like Sabrina was talking about. I think it's interesting because since social media and like meeting people is it's kind of a newer concept. It's like Andrea said, you think that your friends have to be the people you physically see and talk to all the time. But if you really think about it, the pool of people that are out there, the likelihood of you connecting with people that are like you is much greater. You know, when you have a huge pool of people than just the people you see every day. So that's what I really loved about it. Like I've been able to build genuine relationships with people that I have never met, but it, it's really cool because we're so similar. I never would have met them like in my neighborhood, you know? So that's one thing like the, it, there's endless possibilities in, in connecting with people that are similar to you. Um, but also another way to ensure that you're always going to have um, people is to provide super good customer service and a good experience to the people you have, because those people are going to be your best um, advertisement if you want to call it that. I mean, there, if you, if you get someone in your group and you help them and you invest in them and you care about them and you want them to succeed, they're going to tell somebody else about it. So it's people you don't know yet that will, will help you with this job. For sure. You know, um, sorry, just one other thing. It's so crazy. When I first really started coaching in October, um, I went to um, a couple of friends of mine and they were awesome and they signed up as coaches and it was fantastic. And I got Emerald and yay. But I knew th these people really well. And like every question they had, I answered it. If I didn't know the answer, I, I found out the answer, whatever. And those two people turned around and had others referred to me. So uh, my first month, it was ridiculous. It was like, I looked and I had like, 20, um, 20 customers on the beach body thing. It was crazy because they were switching to me. So there are tons of ways to build your network. So that one was really helpful for me. Um, just because you get assigned an auto coach or whatever, if you just go to the site, well, they didn't know those people, but their friends knew me. And so it's just another way to kind of build on that. Anyway. And another thing is you don't do any of like, you don't sign up as a coach and we're like, good luck, <laughs> go be a coach. Like we train on all of this. You don't do any of this, um, alone. So we, you know, we have trainings on how to expand your network and how to make your social media posts and all of that. Like, the really good um, team as far as training and support goes. So you're not just thrown out there and figure it out. Definitely. Yeah. I don't think we talked a whole lot about that um, so far this week, but we do have really good training and um, there's so many resources on, you know, what to do from day one. And, um, and our team is just so good about, helping people in any area, but we have our team pages where we talk, you know, where we can post questions and, um, and people can give feedback and things like that. So that's been, and it's a fun way to build relationships too, just getting to know people on our team through that way. 
Um, did we have any other things that we were going to talk about? I'm trying to know if there were other questions. Oh, I was going to say one more thing along those same lines with um, social media. When I signed up, I remember like one of my main hesitations was I'm not posting sports bra pictures of myself on Facebook. And I said, absolutely not. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to post a sweaty selfie. I'm not going to post myself with Shakeology. I don't want to be salesy. I don't want to annoy people. Like I felt annoying just posting pictures of my kids on Facebook. So I'm like, there is no way I'm going to do that, which of course then I did all of it. But I think the point is like, you know, you don't have to be this overly salesy in your face beach body coach. Like we all know those people that are do certain products and they're, that's all they post about you. They sign up and then you lose who they are as a person and their normal life. And all you get is this company they're representing. And that's not our goal. That's not, that's not necessary. That's not helpful to just push products over and over through social media. You get to still be you. You're just sharing your life with, your followers and part of that life includes Beachbody. It's not all of your life. It's just a small part of it. And they're getting to know you as a person and they're, they're trusting you. And then they eventually may want to join you, but you're not just shoving it down their throats. So that's something I learned over time um, that you don't, you don't have to be overly salesy to make this work. Yeah. And just to tag on to that, our after somebody has an order. I mean, we provide a service. That's what we do as a coach. We don't provide the products that comes from beach fighting. We utilize those, but our job as a coach begins once somebody has already decided on a program, decided what they're doing, and we just get to support them. That's, that's the difference between what we do and some other companies. And honestly, that's why I'm okay with doing it. <laughs> yes. I'm like, I, like was super hesitant about it at first but then i realized i'm actually working for my money like i my job is a job it's to provide a service it's not to sell a product and so while we do get a commission on the product us investing in the people is really our job honestly i can't i'm not trying to like sell somebody on something they don't want to do at all but i will say like i can't imagine not doing it now that i've been doing it as long as i have i can't remember what it was like to not help people and do it and i also would do it solely based on the network of um of coaching friends positive people i've met through this alone if i could just keep that group of people in my life forever i would do this for the rest of my life <laughs> no i agree yeah, it's, it's really sad to think about how life would be without it. Like, it would be very sad and boring and um, nope. not nearly as positive and happy. <laughs> it's just, it's a really big change. It is. Um, and I was thinking about something. This is a different subject. But um, I, one thing I love about coaching is that people are encouraged to use their own voice and be who they are. Like we would never say, okay, you're a coach now. This is what you need to post. Um, our goal is to help people find their own voice of who they are and have always been and how they have become a better person through coaching, but use that to put their own spin on it because, you know, we all do have the same programs and products, but the thing that makes each of us individuals is us as coaches and how we can reach certain people that other people can't because they relate to specifically to us. And so um, I like that, and, you know, we're encouraged to find who we are in our voice um, and how we can help people. And that really helps with how you figure out what to post. Um, like Ashley was saying, she didn't want to post things. But when you start thinking about, okay, if I post this, how is this going to help somebody? Um, it takes the pressure off. Like, I don't want people to think I'm weird with selfies or something, but if you put it in a different frame of mind of, if I put this out there, this could inspire somebody to start, or this could, you know, just bring spirits up from a bad day. It, it takes all of the, the fear out of posting because you're thinking of it from perspective of helping other people. Um, and I like that, you know, we just need to find what our voice is. We're not all cookie cutter the same. Um, we're all encouraged to be different. 
and speak to that, you know, some people I've talked to think that they're not interesting enough to do this or that they don't have something. And I say to that, I follow a lot of coaches, not even on our team and stuff. And there have been so many people who felt that way and use this as a platform to be the person they wanted to be. Mm -hmm. um, not, I don't mean being a fake person. I mean, you feel like you're an introvert or, you know, you're not interesting. Who do you want to be and use this as a platform to become that person? Um, what better way to do that than to share with other people and to encourage other people? And it really, I mean, it does shape you as a person. It changes you as a person. And um, I mean, you can be whoever you want to be. And this is a great way to, to, you know, get self-confidence and speak who you want to be, be the person you want to be. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> I agree. I don't know if y'all have anything else y'all want to add. I think it's cool to have a job that just, um, in order to do this job well, you have to take care of you and it makes you a better person. Um, and I think that's pretty cool. Like we have to take care of our health because how are we supposed to help other people if we aren't doing it ourselves? Uh take care of our mind um and you know grow that and that's a big part of coaching that I never did before I coached is doing personal development um I do audiobooks mostly but you know reading books to just help my mind and help me grow as a leader and as a person and, um and I'm sure we could all go off on that because that's huge and that's something I never did before I coached and it's changed so many things like I'm using quotes from my personal development to help my daughter while she's doing homework and getting discouraged you know things that it comes into play all the time and I never would have had those tools if I wasn't a coach hopefully we didn't bore everybody like this <laughs> well, it With this sounds really loud so <laughs> I thought it was interesting Yes. <laughs> well, does anybody else have anything they want to add? I don't have anything else. All right. Well, we can go ahead and close the meeting. But thank you guys for watching. And um, if you have any questions, contact your coach. That's good. Y'all have a good night. Bye. Bye.